guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my wedding recap I have pages and pages on my computer all about our wedding I'm gonna try to go through it pretty quick I feel like since we just put out our wedding video this was the perfect time to go over all the details all of the tips and tricks that I have events that happened through the day and some regrets that we have I felt like this was a really fun video I enjoyed watching these videos while I was engaged it really helped me kind of plan out my wedding and see what worked for people what didn't work for people I have been waiting to film this video for so long I knew I didn't want to film it before I uploaded our wedding video I did just upload that less than a week ago and I am so thankful for all of your guys' sweet comments. It was so kind. So if you haven't seen my wedding video, you can go check it out there. I'll also put clips in this video of everything that I'm talking about so you can see firsthand all the details and events that I'm talking about. So I'll start with all of the details like my dress, bridesmaids dresses, things like that. Then I'll go through the events of the day and then I'll talk about my regrets. Of course, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys like I don't know, my wedding shoes, my bridesmaids dresses, just anything I can think of that I talk about a lot in this video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and stick around. I would love it if you would do so. I just film vlogs, homemaking stuff, anything that's really fun and girly or anything that I'm really interested, I put out on the internet for you guys. So I'm really excited for this video. So with all that being said, let's hop right into it. So I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Bed Bath & Beyond. You guys know I did my wedding registry with them and they reached out and they wanted to work together, which was so awesome. I loved using Bed Bath & Beyond for my wedding registry. They make it so easy. And one of my favorite parts about their wedding registry is that they actually have a checklist for you. And I use that to see what I needed, what I already had, and it was super helpful. And it's really easy to create your registry. I am not very tech savvy, believe it or not. I know it seems like I am because I'm a YouTuber, but I'm like a grandma when it comes to technology and I could easily figure out and navigate their wedding registry which was really nice so if you're a bride I highly recommend checking out Bed Bath & Beyond for all your registry needs they have everything you can think of literally so much stuff in my kitchen is from Bed Bath & Beyond if you guys want you can check out my wedding registry video I did a whole haul on everything that I got and I've got tons of stuff linked in there that you can check out so Bed Bath & Beyond was super sweet and they gifted me with some things to show you guys what you can can get and I have so many items from my wedding registry that I loved like my KitchenAid and all that kind of stuff that you can totally find on Bed Bath & Beyond but one item that I got that I'm so excited about hold on it's huge oh is this oh my gosh guys I am freaking out these are the kind of things that you want to put on your wedding registry because people are so generous especially when you're getting married and they will buy you really nice gifts so I'm so excited to start using this okay that was really heavy but I'm so excited about that and they've got so many great high price items that you can put on your registry and they also have some small items that are so necessary which are some other things that I got in my opinion you can never have too many hand towels I got this beautiful set and I love it because it matches is our kitchen very well and these are actually my favorite pans so we did have these on our wedding registry and we've been using them I love them so much I just wanted more and I love them these are the OXO or OXO um, good grips and they're beautiful because they're gold and I've gotten all of my pans from Bed Bath & Beyond in there great so the next things I got are these oven mitts so I love the brand all clad they've got great pots and pans if you wanted to check those out and put those on your registry like we did but another thing that I really love are their oven mitts I already own these and I have worn them out so I wanted to get another set and I love the color I think it's really cute and they've got these grips which makes them very handy so then I got this wood cheese board and guys the coolest part is is that it's not actually wood so you can put it in the dishwasher easy to clean which I really like so this is nice if you're hosting or if you just want to put this up in your kitchen it looks really cute the next thing is a major necessity this is a mop and it's for wood floors so we have one same thing that we got from Bed Bath Beyond on our registry that's great for tile and vinyl but this is specifically for wood floors and I love my Bona mop it's so great okay I cannot stress these enough if you are getting sheets you need to put these on your registry these are the sleep philosophy bamboo sheets 
these are the best sheets in the entire world i'm so happy to have another pair that way we can switch them out when we need so those are just a few items from bed bath and beyond that you could potentially put on your registry but trust me they have so many more that you could choose from and it's so easy to create so definitely create a registry down below with my link in the description box i'll have everything linked down below that i talk about there and thank you again to bed bath and beyond for sponsoring today's video so the next category is wedding details so First and foremost, we really wanted our wedding to reflect Christ. We wanted people to leave our wedding hearing more about Jesus than me and Sam because we are believers and we are Christians and we know that ultimately we want our marriage to reflect Christ. So how much more so do we want our wedding where we start our marriage to reflect him as well? So that's really what we centered our whole wedding around, especially our ceremony. And before I get started, I want to say a big Big thank you to my parents who I could not have done my wedding without them. They were so generous with our wedding and kind and my mom was like my right hand woman with making all the decisions. Every time I think about that day, I just think about how thankful I am and how generous they are. So thank you mom and dad. I also want to thank Sam's family for our rehearsal dinner, my bridesmaids with everything that they helped me with, and then all my aunts and uncles that helped with so many things. There's so much going on in the wedding and we just felt so loved by everybody's help. It really meant the world to us. So for our wedding theme, I knew I wanted it to be classy, but in the sense that I wouldn't look back and regret like the bridesmaids dresses I chose or my wedding dress like I didn't want it to be whatever was in the moment if that makes sense and it kind of was but it was also me which is what I wanted and honestly I felt like I had the most fun expressing myself through all of our wedding flowers so speaking of flowers for the ceremony flowers and for my bouquets and stuff we did very neutral colors I didn't really want anything too bright I did think about doing a lot of colors but I was like no 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 I might regret that in the future so I did a lot of really neutral roses and I love how they turned out but for the reception is where I had a fun time because I chose a ton of colorful flowers more like warm colors and that was a very last minute decision our last meeting with the florist like literally two weeks before the wedding I was like you know what scratch everything we planned inside let's just throw some color in there and my mom was like okay if that's what you want to do but i love it and i definitely don't regret going a little bit more fun inside so for my bridesmaids dresses i actually chose a like satin champagne color i love that color it's very neutral and i just think it looked very classy and pretty um i was thinking like maybe a blush color or maybe a green color but i'm really glad i went with that because it wasn't quite a color so i could really play with other things without having too much of a theme and then all of the groomsmen wore a black suit but sam my husband actually wore a black tux so that's a little tip i have for you guys if you don't want to have your groomsmen pay a ton of money to rent a tux or even buy a tux that they're probably not going to wear very often a great alternative is for them to wear suits because men do wear suits a lot whether it's for work or if they go to other weddings so it's a lot cheaper for them to buy and then they can reuse it again and again and then your husband or the groom can actually wear a tux to kind of spice it up a little bit the only reason i really wanted sam to wear a tux is because i just wanted him to have the black buttons with the bow tie like that was the look i really wanted and then i found out that was a tux i would have been fine with a suit i just didn't realize that that was tuxedo and then the other one was a suit you learn a lot when you're going through the wedding process but yeah that was a big tip that saved our groomsmen a lot of money okay now on to my dress guys that was a process and a half it was insane for me to choose a dress and i think i'm gonna do a whole video dedicated as to why i chose my dress why it was so hard but let's just say after i bought it i was sick to my stomach because i was like do i love it or not i did not know how i felt so i might just do a whole video about that but now fast forward looking back i love my dress and i can't imagine going with anything else i am in love with it and then the last thing that I do want to mention is that we did have a wedding planner-ish. She was like a very minimal planner. She just came to all of our appointments with us so that she knew on the wedding day when she was coordinating where I wanted everything, how everything was supposed to look, which was really nice to have. So that's just a side note, which made our lives a lot easier on the wedding day since she was coordinating everything. Okay, now into the big events of the day. I'm going to walk you guys through so many things that you might not have seen in our wedding video, things that happened, and all sorts of stuff. So my wedding day was rainy and gloomy in the morning. 
So here's my tip for you if you're a bride and you're worried about it raining on your wedding day. Like I was worried because our ceremony was outside and we had to like change everything if it was supposed to rain. So I did not look at the forecast for like over a week before the wedding because I knew I would just worry about it if it set a chance of rain and there's nothing you can do about the weather so i just said you know what i am not gonna look and side note i would let people know you're not looking because i did not and somebody told me oh how are you feeling about the rain and i was like the what i would make sure you tell everybody that you're not looking at the forecast and for them to just not talk about it if you tend to get anxious over things like i do i just i just worry i'm just a worrier so yeah it did end up raining which i'll get into later but we actually got ready at my house which i loved i really wanted that with me just getting ready in my room that was ultimately what i wanted so me and all my bridesmaids got ready in the morning did our hair and makeup at my house and then we drove to the venue. So once we were at the venue, we just chilled. We actually ate lunch and just kind of hung around. And then we all got dressed and ready since our hair and makeup was already done, which was kind of nice because it gave us a chance to relax a little bit. So I forgot to mention that before we got dressed and ready, I actually gave all of my bridesmaids letters that I wrote to each and every one of them. Just kind of explaining why I'm so thankful for them and why they were standing next to me that day. And it was just a really sweet moment and I was really thankful that I was able to tell them how much I love them through a letter that they could keep forever. So this was the sweetest moment and I'm so thankful I did it. So I would recommend doing this. So after I was dressed and ready to go, I did four first looks. It was a lot. So first I did my bridesmaids, which none of them had seen my dress. I didn't tell them anything. I had all them guessing, which that was so hard, but so worth it. It is so fun to not show your friends until the day of the wedding, which was hard because I literally lived with two of my roommates and I was like, I don't wanna tell you guys so bad. Two, three, open. <laughs> But I do not regret not telling them because it was so worth it to get their reactions and it was just so, so fun. So then I had a first look with my three brothers, which was really sweet and I am so glad I did that. I just felt like it was really special because I do have such a good relationship with them. Then I had my first look with my dad, which I knew that would be an emotional one. That one really got me just because we've always had conversations about my wedding day and me and my dad are really close. I was so nervous for the first looks with my friends, my dad and my brothers, but then whenever it came to do the one with Sam, I was not nervous at all. I was so calm on my ride over there and I don't know, I just had this total peace about it and we did do first look. So we had our first look. It was so special and so sweet and I do not regret doing that at all. I was way against a first look. And then I heard a lot of people say, no, that's such a good time of you two just together, just to have an intimate moment because the rest of your day is with a ton of people. And I'm so glad I listened to that advice because we really did get that special time together, which I really do appreciate. And yeah, our first look was just so special. His reaction was so cute and it was just so fun because we had like waited for this moment for so long and then it was finally there. So me and Sam did our first look photos and then we started taking photos with the bridal party and that is when it started to poor like absolutely drench us thank goodness we were under all of these trees where we could get a lot of pictures so we were supposed to do all of the family photos after we did like the wedding party photos but i made the decision i was like can we just wait and hold off because it might not rain later so let's do family photos after the ceremony which was a really rough call because we didn't have hors d'oeuvres or anything because we weren't planning on like having pictures after the ceremony we were planning on just jumping right into the reception but I didn't want to have super rainy pictures with all of our family. So that was just a very difficult call that I made. And I'm thankful that I did because it gave me time to go back inside and do something with my hair because at that point it was soaked and ruined. Like it was so wet, my curls were gone and we could not find a blow dryer anywhere i am not kidding like we were calling the venue and they were like we can't find our blow dryer we don't know what's happening i didn't think to bring a blow dryer we were literally using hannah's airbrush machine like took the airbrush makeup out and just tried to blow a little bit on my hair and i am so surprised but in that moment i was not stressed like hannah said to me she was like jacqueline i'm so surprised you're not freaking out and i was just like 
I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna walk down the aisle with wet hair. But we found a hair dryer. I recurled my hair and it looked pretty okay. It didn't look as good as it did, but it was good enough. So now onto the ceremony. And a tip that I have for this, if you want a like no phone ceremony, which a lot of people put out a sign and say it, just so that you don't have like pictures of people holding up their phone, trying to take pictures of you in your wedding picture, if that makes sense. Um, so we actually had our officiant, the guy that like married us, we had him say, no phones allowed. They hired people to take photos. Please do not take photos. And I'm so glad we did that because we don't have anybody with like a hot pink phone case taking photos in the back of our pictures. My wedding planner came to me and she said, you've got to make a call. Either you're going to have your wedding outside or we quickly have to switch to plan B. I did not want to do plan B because everybody would be sitting at their circular tables in the reception and we would have like our ceremony in front of the fireplace with no one sitting in rows or anything like it just would have looked really thrown together and that's just not what I wanted I didn't want it to be inside so I said you know what I believe that it's going to become sunny so let's just let's just stick with it being outside and if it pours it pours and everybody can dance in the rain like that was just what I said and she looked at me like I was crazy she was like okay if that's your decision and i'm so glad it did because it cleared up and it became so sunny and it really did it all worked out the whole wedding party walked down to a thousand years from twilight i mean what else would i do and then i walked down to turning page which i've been saying since eighth grade i will be walking down the aisle to that song it is my favorite song ever it's so special to me and I've always known I've wanted to walk down the aisle to that song. So when it was happening, the song was playing, it felt so surreal and so special. So me and Sam, we actually wrote our own vows, which made me so nervous because one, I hate to read out loud. And two, I'm really bad at formulating words. Like I'm not a words person. Clearly I can talk all day because I literally do that for my job. But whenever it comes to like articulating how I feel, that's really hard for me. And so I'm so nervous about our vows, but I am so glad that we wrote our own because they were so special. And I do have some tips about the vows. So one, if you are writing your own vows, don't be afraid to have somebody else read it over. My sister-in-law, Emily, told me this and I was like, oh yeah, I guess I can have people help me and read it and, you know, maybe help me articulate it a little bit better. And that was honestly like so 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 nice because I didn't feel so nervous about it because I feel like things make sense to me but make sense to nobody else and so it was just really comforting to have somebody else read it over so this is something that me and Sam did that I'm really glad that we did because if you're on your own vows it's like well how long are we making this if you talk for five minutes and I talk for two minutes that's gonna look a little weird so what we did is once we had a rough draft we like slowly read it out loud as we would and timed ourselves and then we told each other hey mine's three minutes Hey, mine's, you know, three minutes and 30 seconds. That's perfect. Um, we just want to make sure that one wasn't super long and one was super short. And that was a great way to kind of make it like on the same page. So during the ceremony, we actually did two worship songs. So I chose one and Sam chose one and my maid of honor, Dara, sang it. I've always wanted her to sing at my wedding and she is so amazing. And I'm so glad we did that. So we chose In Christ Alone, that was my choice of song, and then Sam chose Scandal of Grace, and we were laughing because we were like, there was probably two people in the whole audience that actually knew that song, but we did print out lyrics on our little pamphlet for everybody so they didn't feel left out if they didn't know the words. During the ceremony, me and Sam also did communion. We were the only ones that did communion because we didn't want other people to feel pressured to do it if they weren't believers. Um, the Bible's pretty clear about not taking communion if you're not a believer. And so we just kind of felt that conviction of like, we don't want to put people in that position just because if they feel pressured because everybody else is doing it. So we just decided to do it ourselves. And then everybody else just prayed for us while we did that. And that was really fun. It was a little special time between us. Once the ceremony was finished, we walked back down the aisle to my testimony by Elevation Worship. I just felt like it was the vibe. Like it's such an upbeat song. I feel like it really reflected what we were talking about the whole time during our ceremony, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And if you trust in him, you have new life and that's something to celebrate and that's just what it felt like that song was it was really fun I loved it so then after the ceremony we didn't plan this but we took family photos which was a little stressful because everybody else was inside with nothing to do we didn't have hors d'oeuvres or anything because we didn't plan it to go that way but I'm so glad we did it just because it was sunny and beautiful and perfect for photos so we really went through those super super fast 
And then we headed into our reception. So we kicked it off pretty quick with our first dance. That was the first thing that we did once they introduced us. And we danced to La Vian Rose, if that's how you say it. Sam actually found the song and we loved it. It was perfect. We did this version. I'll put it on the screen here. It was beautiful and just really sweet. So after our first dance, we went into dinner, and this is a big tip that I have for you if you're planning your wedding, that we love that we did is we actually had our wedding coordinator stand in front of our table, like me and Sam, we ate alone, and we had her stand in front of our table so people knew like it wasn't a time to come up and talk to us because we wanted to make sure that we ate because so many people say that they didn't get to eat on their wedding day because everybody's coming up to them. So that really helped us have some alone time, some quality time, and we had an uninterrupted dinner, which was really, really nice. So then we had our cake cutting, and we actually had a funfetti cake, which I loved. I think the other flavors were like lemon and like, I don't know, chocolate blackberry. I don't know, I didn't care about the other flavors. I just wanted Funfetti and I loved it. And then we also surprised Sam with like a Yankees cake. I didn't know that having a groom's cake was a thing. Um, and so that was actually my mom's idea. So we surprised him with that, which was really, really cute because he is a very big Yankees fan. So then we had the father-daughter dances and the mother-son dance. And guys, I, I still have such a hard time talking about this. But, um, so me and my dad were having the hardest time deciding what to do for our father-daughter dance song. I didn't want anything depressing. I didn't want to cry. But my dad also felt like none of the songs really represented, like, our relationship. And so I was like, you know what? Let's just do an upbeat song and let's do My Girl. Like, that's such a fun song and it's so happy and it's not going to make us cry and it's going to be so, so fun. So I get up there ready to do my father-daughter dance and I look over and my mom has a microphone and I was like, I know it's not the plans for my mom to speak. So I was like, what in the world is happening? So I'll make a whole video about this, but long story short, my dad wrote me a song for our father-daughter dance and my uncle is in the music world so they produced it and it's like a legit song and... I'll just leave it there. I'm gonna post the video and the song because it's a beautiful, beautiful song. I still can't believe my dad wrote it. There was not a dry eye in the room. I'm sobbing, everybody else is sobbing. It was just beautiful. I was very surprised. So we really wanted our ceremony to be a big party. My family loves to dance. Sam's family loves to dance and we just love to have fun. So we knew that we wanted to pick the best songs. And if you guys don't know, Sam's family is actually from Colombia. So we had a good mix of Hispanic songs and normal wedding songs. And it was just so much fun. And I'm a big sucker for like the typical dance songs like Cotton Eye Joe and the Cupid Shuffle. All of those are so fun to me and we definitely did them because I love them. And then typically your DJ will ask you like, what do you want your last song to be to get like the crowd hype before you guys leave? And me and Sam chose the song Glorious Day. So if you do not know this song, you need to listen to it. It's by Passion and it is just so fun. It is such a fun song and it's all about how like you have a new life in Jesus and you can yell it and scream it. And that's what we wanted. We were like, I don't know who's going to know this song, but me and Sam want this to be our last song. And guys, it was so, it was insane. Everybody was dancing and jumping and it's just funny because it's a worship song and I would not expect that from everybody and so many people knew the song. It was just the perfect way to end the day and we loved it and I would not change that for the world. So then while everybody was getting outside for the sparkler exit, me and Sam had one last song to dance to to ourselves, slow dancing, and we chose Forever After All by Luke Combs. We both love country music and it was just sweet. And so then it was time for the sparkler exit. We went through, we said bye to everybody. We got in the car and we go to turn it on and it's dead because my siblings who decorated the car left the car on but not running and it killed the battery. And it was just so funny. I would have never expected that to happen. And we were just laughing because it was like, oh, just kidding, we're not leaving, this is weird. Um, but I'm so thankful because it gave me extra time to talk to my parents and just say goodbye to them and to everybody else that was there. Yeah, that was really funny. So thank goodness my brother and my cousin came to the rescue. They had a jump box in their car and we were good to go in about five minutes, but that was just a funny little thing at the end that I would not have expected to happen. Okay, so now onto the regrets. I really don't have many regrets because I really loved our wedding day. Like I really tried to find things that went wrong or that we regretted. 
and I really had to dig and dig and dig. So the first thing is that we tried to see everybody, but we ran out of time. So we didn't get to see everybody, like some of our friends we didn't really get to see and talk to. And this was because we just spent way too much time on all the first tables we were going to. So I don't really know how you would fix that, but that's one of the regrets that we have is that we didn't really get to see everybody. So something that's very small that we did not think about was that we did not remove the tag under Sam's shoe. So in all of our pictures, his tag is there underneath his shoe in the video. Like it is just so funny and most people won't notice it, but just little tip, take off your tags. So that's pretty much the overview of our wedding day. It was such a beautiful day and I just cannot get over how God just perfectly ornated everything to go together and I'm so thankful for that day and I'm so thankful that people ultimately got to hear the gospel. That was our goal that if people didn't know who God was and what kind of God he was that if they came to our wedding they would. Ultimately marriage is a reflection of Christ in the church that he has unending unconditional love and that's what the marriage covenant is supposed to represent and we really want to make sure that people understood the gospel. So I think that's everything for our wedding recap. If you guys want I did film my wedding weekend video so I vlogged the rehearsal dinner. We did a worship night. Um, after the rehearsal dinner, which was really, really special. So if you want to see all of that, I've got that linked in the description box. I also did a wedding morning vlog. If you want to see that, I'll also have that link down below. Don't forget to check out Bed Bath & Beyond's wedding registry. So if you're a bride and you're looking to create a wedding registry, I highly recommend checking out Bed Bath & Beyond. They have everything you could ever need on their website. So I'll have them linked down below and you can create a wedding registry through that link or you can just go to their website. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have a feeling it was a long one, but well worth it. Thank you guys so much for all the support on everything. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it and stick around if you want to see more content from me. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.